Zebediah the Zebra Swallowtail Butterfly Zebediah sat in his cell at the correctional facility and pondered how he had arrived in this situation. He was serving a short-term sentence for a crime he had committed. Zebediah had inadvertently become friends with a tough individual named Tiger, a tiger-striped butterfly with criminal tendencies. Zebediah hadn't intended to become involved with Tiger's criminal activities, but it had been an easy way to earn money for his family's expenses, or at least it had seemed that way until he had been caught engaging in crime. Zebediah felt truly bad about the crimes he had committed, and he felt even worse that he was not able to be at home to take care of his disabled sons. You see, two of his children had emerged from the chrysalis with crumpled wings, and Zebediah had been bringing them little bits of food every day. Fortunately, a couple of Zebediah's neighbors had agreed to bring food for his sons while he was serving his sentence, but Zebediah still felt horrible about not being with his children every night. Plus, Zebediah had been reading encouraging bedtime bedtime stories to his sons every evening, and he wondered, who's going to encourage my children now? I wonder if it's possible to write a bedtime story and send it to my kids, thought Zebediah. When a corrections officer came by his cell, Zebediah asked if it would be possible to have several pieces of paper and a pen. The corrections officer agreed and returned with the materials. Zebediah began writing with great speed and zeal. The stories began flowing one after another. Adventure stories about young butterfly superheroes, encouraging stories about butterflies who had been injured and became able to fly again, and funny stories about butterfly comedians who told jokes and performed for audiences around the world. Zebediah wrote for several hours in a row. When he was finished, Zebediah asked the correctional facility staff if he could share what he had written with his kids. The staff helped Zebediah send the stories to his sister Angelina, along with a note asking her to read the bedtime stories to his sons. When Angelina came to visit Zebediah at the correctional facility the following week, she described how joyful his sons had been when she read the stories to them. Angelina agreed to keep reading the stories to the kids until Zebediah had finished his sentence, in order to encourage them, to let them know their father loved them and was truly sorry for what he had done, and to help them maintain a relationship with their dad. When Zebediah was released a short time later, he greeted his sons with open arms and outstretched wings. I am so sorry for everything I put our family through. Will you forgive me? asked Zebediah. Yes, but please don't do anything like that again, replied his sons. We've missed you. I'll be the best dad that I can be, said Zebediah. Let's start with a bedtime story. Zebediah read his children a new story that he had written right before his release. And in the following weeks, Zebediah continued writing adventure stories, humorous stories, thought-provoking stories, encouraging stories, and stories that made the world a better place for butterflies and beyond. He established a career as a successful author and stayed away from a life of crime. However, he did return to the correctional facility on several occasions to encourage others to use their God-given gifts and abilities to brighten the world and to connect with others, particularly their families. As Zebediah reminded the inmates, Even on the darkest of days, there's always a glimmer of light. Follow the Lord in all that you do, and He will make everything turn out just right. The End